So guys, the party is over. We have to clean it up. We don't have time to use this trace because it's going to take a while. I'm using almost the big one. A lot of people are asking how to carry a big tray with food or whatever. I uh, just want to show you the, full, the tray is full. You have to balance it on your hand. But what I'm doing is, is I always put something heavy on the inside, something that's going to stay on my shoulder. In case you lose balance when you carry the tray, this thing, the heavy stuff on the, on the, on the inside, helps you keep the balance of the tray. Because if it goes down on this side, it's going to hit your shoulder. But if it goes down on the other side, it's not going to hit nothing but the floor. So right now, the stick stays like that. I'm not going to pick it like, I'm just going to turn it around. And this thing, the heavy stuff, is on the side of my shoulder. I just put it and that's it. And now the tray is staying here. If I lose balance or something when I walk around, the good chance is that the tray is going to kill on this side. It's going to hit my shoulder and I will be able to keep the balance. That's all it takes. Of course, you have to make sure that everything is put around uh, pretty balanced but always put something heavy on the inside so you can keep your balance if you if something happens and you lose your balance on the way to the kitchen. That's it. Hey guys, welcome to the Waitress Academy. We continue with the busting tables videos. I want to cover all the bases so everybody who is searching about how to bust tables have everything here on the Waitress Academy and they can use those videos to improve their skills and of course improve their life. Today I will cover some of the bases that I already did in the last videos, couple of videos, but we'll do something else, we do busting on the table and of course uh, we will talk about carrying a large food tray. Uh, I include both of them in the same video because carrying a large tray with uh, dirty dishes or carrying a large tray with food uh, plates uh, doesn't have much of a difference so we will do that all together. Now, like you see right now on the tables I have four guests finished with their meal or at least three of them are finished with their meal. Everybody has put their fork and the knife together and that means that they're finished. Most of the time, some guests will put the knife and fork together, but they still have some food on the table and on the plate, and they are thinking that they're gonna have some more. Not everybody follows the etiquette. So every time we approach the table, we ask the guests. Like I said in the video, the video, the video last week, we have to communicate with the guests. We have to feel comfortable talking with the guests. Uh, so everything goes smoother but like you see here this person has the knife and the fork still staying against each other he has some food on the plate so we are not sure if this person is finished we give them a couple minutes I give them a minute I observe the person if everybody's finished and they're just talking and he's also finished uh, he's not eating for another minute. That means that most probably he's finished. He has no idea that uh, he should put his fork and knife together so the waiters knows that everything is done and he can bust the tables. So the guy just he's into the conversation. He's not paying attention to the etiquette. He left this uh, fork and knife uh, like that. Uh, we are not sure if he's done or not. Everybody else it seems like they're done. We approach the guest very politely and we ask, excuse me ma'am, are you true also with your meal? Yes, I'm true. Then we start busting the tables. We don't have to ask nobody else. If somebody is not finished, but they have put those fork and knife together, they will know that uh, we are starting to bust the table. They will tell you or they will take right away and start eating or something like that. But this is the main point. If this guy has not done the fork and the knife together, we ask 
this person and he says he's Finnish, we start bussing the tails. Of course, we start bussing with the ladies, but that's in a fine dining, you know, we follow etiquette. If not, I will always start with the big plates and I will always start with a plate that has some food on it. So what I'm gonna do is, if I'm gonna bust the table without a tray, just with hand, I will start with this plate. Take the big one, make my platform, just like that. Go around the table. It's good when you put it like that, because if it stays so, and you know, the person stays here, you have to go just a little bit uh, awkward, it's possible that you can take it and let the fork fall down. When it stays like that, you put it together and you take it like that. It's easier. Now, like I said in my previous videos, I stuck everything here because this plate is close to my shoulder and I can put as many as I want. If I put everything here, it's gonna be three times more heavy. I'm not gonna be able to take all the plates on the table. So, in order to put more plates here, this foot has to be taken away. The silverware also. What we do is, we do just like that. Done. Then I put, and I can put here, and I go to the other side. We bust always with the right hand from the right side. This plate also has some food. I'm not going to do it like I stay here in front of the camera. What I do is when I take the plate, I make a step back. I put the foot down, I put the foot down and I come back to the table. And I keep passing. Now, I'm done with the plates. Usually, you have salt and pepper on the table. If I have an empty hand, I will take the salt and pepper and I put it up. If I have some more plates, I will keep stacking here, I will take the last heavy plate with my right hand and I will walk away to the kitchen. If I bust with a tray, which I'm going to show you later, I will take all the empty glasses, everything that's not supposed to be on the table, I will take it off. But that's how we do it with hands. to our main topic of the video how to carry a large food tray with dirty plates or with food on this is not so large but it's still a large tray and how do we carry it? we carry the tray like that if you're left-handed you will carry it with the left hand Now, this tray can take much more than we can take with the hands. And in many restaurants, uh, the management won't allow you to bus tables or, or carry food plates, plate with food to the table with your hands. They will ask you to use this tray. So, even if right now you're not working in a restaurant that carrying a tray is required, I suggest that you start training and start learning and be able to carry this tray without problems with all those plates and all those glasses on it. Now, usually when you are having a tray service, you have a tray jack. In this restaurant we don't have tray jacks, but I still ask the guys to do 
a tray service because it's much easier especially when we take the food out you know you can put so much more on a tray than carry three or four plates with your hands to the table and come back for more and come back for more because sometimes we carry a lot of tray a lot of plates to the table guys uh, we use those side stations If I had a tray jack right now, I will also put the tray jack on the side, maybe a meter away from the table. You don't want to put it close to the table where the guests are sitting. Uh, you know why? I don't need to explain that. So I always put the tray jack on a meter away from the table and then I do the same thing. Ladies and gentlemen, are you finished with your meal? Was everything good? Did you like his steak? Yes, we finish. So on and so. You can say many other things, guys. The most important thing is to ask the guest if they are satisfied with their meal, if they are finished, and you can bust the table. And you do it with a smile, with uh, politeness. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, was everything okay? Did you like a steak? If you know what they have had, you know, did you like your pasta? Did you like a steak? Everything was good. Thank you very much. Appreciate. Uh, may I remove your plates? Yes, you can remove our plates. Then what we do is we don't take one plate and put it on the top row. We try to be fast and efficient. So we take one plate, we take another plate, you try to take all the main course plates away first and because you have the tray you don't have to stack the food and the silverware you can just go around take it and then whatever has to be done you can do it on the tray Now, very important guys, how to stack the plates on the tray. What I do, I put the silverware on the side. I put the two heavy plates on the side that's going to be on my shoulder. Food. Right now I don't have so many plates, but sometimes you have many, many more and you need to stack those. So we do it the same thing like we do when we do with the hands. We remove the food. You usually try to do it with your back to the guests so they don't see that you are scratching plates and, and removing food. It's not a pleasant, especially when the guests are eating. Nobody wants to see. Uh, used then you come back to the table you collect all the small plates another thing guys uh, when you do that make sure that you are doing it with some finesse and and quiet as quiet as possible we cannot just go to the table and because we have stress and we are in a hurry just put this it's a no-no, completely forget it. We have to do everything with finesse and as quiet as possible because those guests are there to enjoy us. They are not there to see us stress. They are not there to uh, hear our noise. So you take it like really quiet, you put it together and you back up, you go to the shop ball the tray try to put those things so they are spread equally but like I said in the video before make sure that the heavy stuff is a little bit on the inside of the tray so it goes to there then there are empty glasses on the table 
We will take, we'll remove all the empty glasses because they don't need them. Of course, if they have a wine bottle and the water is still full, you will refill, you're not going to remove. But if they're finished with the bottle, they don't have wine in the bottle, they have some a glass wine that's already finished, you take the glasses away. You can ask the guest if they would like to have another glass or if they want to have something else to drink. They say yes, you put the order in. If they say no, that's okay. Take the glasses away. Like I said, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper should be taken away too. They finish with that. Now, this is the way the plate should be arranged. You put some on this side, some on this side, some on this side. Like I said, the more heavy side is on one side of the tableau or tray, and this is the side that's going to stay on my shoulder. This is made, I make that because it's very easy. When we run through the restaurant and the back of the house, you go through doors, you go with uh, colleagues that they run with the blows and everything like that. Sometimes you go and somebody's coming against you and they're carrying also a large tray full with food because they're taking the food from the kitchen and you cannot just crush into each other. You have to go like that, they will pass by, then you go down, and in order to do that, the tray has to be really good balanced. And in case you lose your balance while you're moving away, when the more heavy stuff is on the side of the shoulder, it's very possible that the, the, blow, the tray will hit the shoulder, will keep on this side, and hit the shoulder, and you'll be able to keep the balance. If it's on the other side and you're carrying it balance, you lose your balance, this heavy stuff will kill the tray from the inside, from the outside, and you will lose it. So, yes, it has to be balanced, but it, I always put some heavy stuff on this side so I can keep the balance if something happens and I lose it. And like I said, now, it's, I'm not saying that everybody has to be able to do that because this is not so heavy, but it's, it's still heavy. Plus, it's hard to balance this. But um, hmm. it's good to be able to carry tray really freely without being cautious, without being um, worried that you're going to lose the balance. It takes time, of course. Uh, you learn it. But yes, if you can do that and you just pass through your colleagues and, uh, on, or guests or something like that, it's, it's helpful. <laughs> um, so you can learn. It's a process. Don't try to do it for the first five minutes. It takes time, but you can learn it. And once you get used to it, once you get comfortable, um, you have a chance for a better job. And uh, trust me, if you want to work, uh, for example, banquets at, in Las Vegas, where the big monies are, you have to be able to do this, carry a tray with 18 different dishes on it, uh, things like that. So. If you don't know how to carry a large tray with food, you should start learning. See if in your restaurant have trays. Ask somebody that's already done it to show you one more time. Try just with uh, two or three, four plates. Uh, then, of course, try with a little bit more. And uh, you will learn. And it will help you in the future. If you're starting right now, in our job as a waiter and you don't know nothing and you want to learn and I guess you want to learn because you're here at the Waiters Academy channel and watching this video and I commend you for that um, you will learn guys and uh, you see that life will be wonderful once you get used to the things once you learn as much as you can 
uh, you get some experience, start making more money and more money and more money and having a beautiful life. That's all about, that's, that's all this channel is about. Working hard as a waiter, making good money and having a wonderful life. We're done with bussing the table with the tray. If somebody has any questions, ask me, check the videos because um, check the other busing table videos. I show some other techniques, I show some uh, of the theory, how to talk to the guests, how to read the tables. Uh, those videos are on the channel, check them out. And um, yes, you will be much better once you see those videos and learn as much as possible. Um, I promise you, your life is going to be much easier and it's going to be much better. Now guys, the chef rings the bell, the food is ready, you have to run to the kitchen and take table 5 and bring it out. You have nobody to help you, you have a lot of plates and you have to put everything on a tray and just bring it yourself. It depends on what kind of food you have. You will try to arrange everything on the tray so you can take everything. You don't have to come back or you don't have to ask somebody else to waste uh, their time and uh, help you with uh, one plate or two plates or something like that. So, like I said before, if you have just three plates, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do exactly this. I put two heavy plates on this side and one plate on the other side. The tray is balanced and you will find the balance on the tray when you put your hand out. But still, the more heavy side is on this side where my shoulder is going to be. So I put two fishes, one chicken on the tray and I take it and it's pretty easy, you know. You can carry those three plates with hands, but like I said, some restaurants, they don't allow you to carry no food to the table with plate. Then you, tray, you take your tray jack with your left hand, and you go. You go to the table, you spread your tray jack, you put the tray on the tray jack, and you serve. <laughs>